cars. This is our 1972 Triumph Spitfire 4 convertible. Um, finished in its original, uh, sort of this bright red, black interior, four-speed disc wheels, luggage rack. Um, beautiful, beautifully well-preserved 70,000-mile car. One repaint. You can see me driving it preceding this video. Really good little running driving car. Gets up and goes nicely. Barks, makes all the right noises. Um, so mechanically a super healthy car and cosmetically very, very good. So we're looking at a car that's probably just been painted once. It's really good and solid underneath. I didn't see any rust in the floors anywhere. Um, super good nose. Pretty early Spitfire with these simple chrome bumpers and these European style uh, overriders and bumpers on it. So really nice little uh, Spitfire for the year. Little tiny ding here I can see that was touched up on the, on the wheel arc. But largely a very nice, very straight car with nice paint, nice chrome. Really nice wheel and tire set, nicely restored. Really good gaps. These Spitfires are getting harder and harder to find. They were cheap for so long that a lot of them were lost to the crusher. So the ones that do survive, if they've been taken care of, they are really, uh, really well loved. And, uh, and you can see a car like this in this lovely attractive condition where you just want to get in and have some fun exactly like they were designed uh, designed for. So good cosmetics, um, very good mechanicals on this 70,000 mile car. Just lovely condition overall. Get in, go, use it. Have some super good fun with it. Um, original windshield fitted, I can see the Triplex logo here. So that original windshield is in really good condition. Um, you can see a little, little tiny, this is a stress area on all Spitfires. So that's very typical where you're gonna get a few little hairline cracks in that, that area. Little hairline crack on the hood there. You know, if you get up close to this car within five feet, you can start picking a few holes in this older, older paintwork. But if you're standing back here like at five feet, it, it's just it's just beautiful. It's in just wonderful, lovely original condition with a single repaint. Let's look at this car's interior. Um, to me, these seats look completely original. They're finished in uh, these covers, which are the original factory covers with the correct uh, vinyl pattern there. Uh, really nice original seats in this one. These have never been upholstered. There's a tiny bit of uh, wear and tear here, but, but very minimal. Um, good set of door panels, great steering wheel, great dashboard. Carpets have been renewed at one point. These, uh, these are black loop carpets. The original uh, VIN plate here shows a build date of December of 71. Um, I believe this top's in nice condition. It's black, but as an overview here, really nice, nice interior overall. In the trunk here, there's some, uh, looks like the calipers have been changed out once, but there's some spares. There's the original air cleaner, the original uh, wheel well cover, the trunk board. This is the original uh, tonneau in beautiful original condition. You can see back here, it's all the original paintwork. Um, you can look at the still photos and see the trunk with these items removed. So, um, wonderful original seats on this 1972 Triumph Spitfire. These are the original seats uh, that the car was born with. Um, it looks like the door panels have been redone, but they're in great shape. Um, excellent, excellent dashboard. You can see that original mileage there, 70,316. I've just driven the car and, and the, the speedometer's counting and working properly. Um, beautiful original steering wheel. 
Um, very good carpets throughout. They're in black loop. Um, there's a black um, soft top fitted in uh, in really good condition, even though it's uh, it's shrunk a little bit. That's the driver's door panel. But there you see very, very nice original interior overall. Um, it's fitted with this uh, quite attractive chrome luggage rack. And in the trunk here, we see a lot of really good stuff. We've, we've got the original trunk board, uh, the spare wheel with the spare wheel cover. This is the original air cleaner. This is the original um, tonneau cover. That's in great shape. I see uh, wheel changing equipment, the original jack. There's uh, a bunch of spares that have been included with the car. It looks like they've changed out the front calipers at one point, but just a, just a wonderful original trunk on this car, original paintwork with all the correct equipment that it came with from the factory. Let's take a look at this car's engine compartment. Make sure I got both of these up. Yeah, so in here, um, really nice condition uh, engine compartment. The bulkhead's painted the original paint, but this is a single carb model, upgraded aluminum radiator. Like I said, we do have that original air cleaner in the trunk. It looks like the suspension's had some ball joints and brakes and maybe some bushes replaced, but really lovely clean engine. Let me start it up for you here. Great running little engine. Really, really revs its brains out on the road. You can see it's really healthy. There's no smoke. But great oil pressure, quiet. Loves to just rev hard out on the street there. Runs nice and cool. This is a really fun car. I don't think the market realizes what fun, you know, what fun Spitfires are, the good feedback. They handle great. They cleaned up in SCCA and uh, won a, a lot of races because of their super good uh, handling and, and uh, track skills. But yeah, there it is. If you're in the market for some super, super good fun at minimal cost, this is a classic shore to appreciate. It's our 1972 Triumph Spitfire Mark IV convertible, 70,000 original miles, one repaint, carpets and door panels, but seat, original seats, lovely original well-preserved driver, chrome luggage rack, four-speed disc wheels, nice clean early European styling with those chrome bumpers. And this car is for sale right now on our website, www.kurttannermotorcars.com. You can see me driving it around the streets. Um, we're going we're gonna to do an alignment and some front tires. It was a little bit jumpy, but, uh, but uh, it's due for, due for some front tires and a little bit of a wheel alignment. We'll get it driving great. www.kurttannermotorcars.com.